What have you been growing this winter in LA, Kat? Well, a little too much kale. <laughs> it seems to really be thriving right now, which is a little sad, but I've started sprouting a lot of tomatoes indoors. And I started my pumpkins indoors this year and I have brought my pumpkins here, my sprouts, my sproutlings. I am so impressed, Todd. Well, it's tricky to know what to grow in the winter. So joining us now from Texas, someone whose gardening TikToks have inspired over 600,000 followers. Marcus Amazing. Bridgewater, AKA Garden Marcus. <laughs> Hi, thanks for having me. Uh, Marcus, I just love how compelling and cool at the same time your videos are, and I think you're just gonna bring a whole generation um, and turn them super green. And I was loving the fact that we were in three geographical places and how to speak to that, because what grows in LA doesn't grow in Texas, doesn't grow in New York. How, how do we garden for three different areas? Ah, well, there's a thing called zones, and zones are set up geographically by region according to climate for plant growth. And knowing that the plants won't grow in every zone is going to help you keep your plants alive. I myself have killed a lot of plants in my day. Unfortunately, those failures have led to my success. I don't think any expert really got to where they were without failing a ton of times. And I can tell you, I've failed a ton of times. And I think that it's in those failures, I've actually began to grow. I have to say, I love hearing that because, you know, gardening is intimidating. And when somebody does come at it with so much expertise, they just think, oh, there's all these things I don't know. I can't even know where to begin. I see that happening all the time and I tell people lesson versus barrier. Learn lessons instead of creating barriers. It's going to take you a long way. And the more lessons you learn, the more peace you have. Is this about gardening still, Marcus? Because <laughs> I am feeling like that's a life lesson. Uh, I think that the garden is filled with life lessons. I have had so many reassured. Um, Kat, I mean, She's in LA. What do you think of what she's growing in her beautiful little boxes? Oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. So beautiful. These are called Cinderella pumpkins. <laughs> what else could Kat approach in the winter or inside right now and being in Los Angeles? For beginner gardeners, I usually tell them to start with seedlings or more mature plants. But seeing as how Kat is so far along in her journey, I can, I'm sure she can handle growing more seeds. So the seeds I would start with now and prepare to transplant in March are cucumber, cantaloupes, zucchini, watermelon, and sweet potatoes. Oh, and you can eat the, uh, you can eat the green and the leaves from sweet potatoes, right? Absolutely. Um, you can make it into tea as well. Um, a lot of those things are edible. Wow, I didn't know that. Amazing. Um, let's talk about you're in Texas. That's a different zone. What's good to grow inside right now? Uh, inside, you want to grow watermelons, sweet peppers, or Swiss chard. Ooh. But I am growing some dragon fruit, and I'm also growing a propagation of a trumpet plant. Now, a propagation is when you take a cutling from a plant, it's either a stem or a leaf, and you create a whole new plant. So a month ago, this trumpet plant was only the stem. All of these leaves and all of these roots are wow. new growth from this past month. How exciting. Oh my, this really gets me going. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I agree. Well, speaking of, what can I grow here in New York inside right now? Well, in New York City, you can grow basil, cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower. Mm. But don't worry if you're a beginner gardener and you're worried about seeds, you can go philodendron, snake plants, ZZ plants, and some of my favorite, pothos. You can grow those indoors year round. 
I love like how the leaves are heart shaped too. Okay, so basically, um, if you go to the DrewBarrymoreShow.com, we're gonna have Marcus's list for the zones and what you can grow inside right now, considering that it's still winter. Marcus, will you come back in spring? And we can do a spring edition of this trio and talk about the garden of life. Oh, fantastic, thank you. Awesome, that'd be fantastic. Oh, thank you, Marcus. I really do think that you're bringing accessibility and like straight up coolness as well as all of your incredible information to the gardening world and inspiring a whole new generation of people. And I thank you so much for doing that and we'll see you in spring. Awesome, thank you so much for having me and I'll see you in spring. Thank you, Marcus, so much. Cat. I mean, I can't wait to see you in the spring and just like be together in our separate gardens. Um, okay, Kat Dennings, I just, we're gonna plan a, a future date on this show in our gardens okay. with our cats. It's all in process. And also, I just can't be more excited for WandaVision, the show that everybody is losing their minds for right now. And you are at the center of being the conductor for all of us. And you're so special. And it's streaming right now on Disney Plus, obviously. And we'll be hanging on every episode as it comes out. And uh, I'll see you so soon.